Hi, and welcome to another European Universalis 4 modding lesson on the Iron Workshop. In this lesson, we'll learn how to change the flag of any country in the game. Let's roll the intro and get to it. Alright, now there are five steps in changing the flag of countries in European Universalis 4. In the first step, we'll need to create our mod, the very basic structure of the mod. So to do that, you will need to watch a separate video, which I will have a link to in the upper right corner of the screen. The reason that I don't include these instructions in this video is because Paradox often change their launchers and it doesn't make sense to just create a whole new video just because one section changed. So I will always refer you to one video that will always be updated on how you can create mods in Europa Salus 4. Once you've done that, we can continue to step number two. In step number two, we'll be creating our basic file and folder structure. This is essential to let the game know where your new file is located, your country flag file. So let's see what we need to do here. I'll open two folders. The first one is the folder of the mod that I created in step number one. Now, in this case, it's called flag mod, but obviously you can name it whatever you want. So let's go into that one. And the other folder that I have opened is the European Salis base game folder, the root folder of the game. That folder can be found in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, European Salis 4. Now from here, we will need to copy a couple of files and folders and put them inside of our mod. So the first folder we will need is the GFX folder. So let's go ahead and create that folder in here as well. Inside of the GFX folder, you will find a folder called flags. So let's go ahead and recreate that folder in our mod. And from this folder, we will need to copy a flag file. Now, it doesn't really matter which file you're copying unless you want to work off an existing flag. But in this case, I'll just copy any one of these flags and then we'll just continue from here. So I'm just going to take this one and I'm going to put it in here like this. So this is the base structure of our flag mod, right? This is all we need. And we can now proceed to step number three, which is to locate our flag tag. And of course, I will explain what that means in a minute. So in step number three, we will need to know which flag we're changing. Now, previously, as you have seen, I've taken a flag file called ADA. What's ADA? Well, ADA is the tag of the country that the flag belongs to. Now, tags are a three-letter indicator to the game of what country you are playing or what country you're making changes to. And of course, the flag has to correspond to this country tag. Now, in order for me to locate the country that I want to change my flag for, I will need to know what is the tag of that country. And that is actually very easy to find out. We'll go to the European Salis 4 folder, to the base game folder. Then we'll go to history. Then we'll go to countries. And in here we'll have the names of all the countries and their corresponding tags. So we just need to search the country that I want to change the flag for. Now in this case, I want to change the flag for Austria. So I'm just going to search for Austria. And Austria is actually a very good example because, well, usually the country tag is similar to the country name. In this example, it's not really like that. And you will see that Austria actually has a tag of HAB, which is obviously after the dynasty that was ruling Austria, the Habsburg dynasty. So in order to change the flag for Austria, my flag will need to have the same tag. So I will need to rename my flag to HAB. And now the game will know that this flag changes the flag of Austria, or I should say that this flag belongs to the country Austria. Excellent. So now that we have done that, we can proceed to step number four. In step number four, we will be actually creating our new flag. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open this flag. I'm going to open it in a program called paint.net. If you don't have it, I will have a link to the download of paint.net in the description of this video. If you have another graphic software that you are more comfortable using, go ahead and use that. Just make sure that it can save TGA files. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab this flag. I'm going to drag it into paint.net up here and I'm going to open. 
All right, so that is the flag. Obviously nothing that has to do with Austria. So let's go ahead and change it. In my mod folder, I already have the flag of Austria, the way that I want it to look. Obviously you can use any other flag, just follow these steps and it will work for any flag. So I'm going to drag this one over here as well. I'm going to open. And now we'll need to copy and paste this flag into our original flag, right? So I'm going to press Ctrl plus A on my keyboard. That will select the whole flag, no matter how big it is. I'm going to click on copy and I'm going to go back to my original flag and I'm going to click on paste. In here, I'm going to select keep canvas size since we don't want the size of the flag to change. And now I'm just going to reduce the, the size of the image so that it fits my flag just like this. Now you can hold the shift key on your keyboard to make sure that your flag doesn't change in weird ways, right? So that it contains, so that it keeps the proportions of the flag and that will make it very nice and neat, just like that. Okay, let's just zoom back in a little bit. And this flag is actually very simple because it just has two colors, so there really isn't much to do here. But you can always adjust your flag and move things around to make things seem much nicer. So that is it, that is the flag of Austria that I want to have in the game. Now what I need to do, I need to go to File, click on Save, a dialog will pop up. In here you don't need to change anything, just keep the settings as they are and click on OK. Okay, our flag has been saved and is now ready to use and we can actually go ahead and test this in the game and see if it works. So let's do that. All right, so let's go ahead and see if our flag works in the game. I'm going to start Europa Euroncellus 4. I'm going to make sure that my mod is enabled in the launcher. Let's just see if it's enabled. Flag mod, very good. So let's go into the game and see what we've got. All right, so as you can see, we now have our new Austria flag. It looks amazing, very, very nice. So that is actually all you need to know about changing flags in Europa Rensalis 4. I hope everything worked out for you as well. If you encountered any issues, please let me know in the comments and I will do my best to help you. Give this video a like if you found it helpful so that others can see how easy it is to create flags for your Opera Ancelis 4 as well. Subscribe to the channel to get notified about new lessons and tutorials about your Opera Ancelis 4 and other Paradox games. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.